Hi, it's Paul Brooks here with JP Shuffle, and today we're reviewing Andrew Darius's new Explainio 3.0 video creation software. Now, JP and I spend an awful lot of money outsourcing video creation um, because we know how vital video marketing is, and what we want to try and do is to bring it in house. So we've been looking for some video creation software that we can use ourselves. Now, we all know how vital video is to marketing online, and you probably already know how expensive it is to actually get one created. Now, we're talking about a good two. $200 per video on Fiverr. Um, so if you're an affiliate marketer or you're a CPA marketer or actually if you promote anything online, any products or a few products, well, video creation can get very expensive very, very quickly. So, you know, we know that video is popular and how important it is. You know, people actually love watching videos. Take YouTube, for example. There's over 300 hours of new videos uploaded to YouTube every minute. And that's really because um, you know, people are lazy. They much prefer to watch a video rather than to read through a page of text. So if you've got a good explainer video, you can have huge brand exposure, build a list, and it's going to make you more money. Now, we kind of already know that. Um, but we also know that making videos, especially if you're not a graphic designer or a video professional, is hard work. Um, so this is where Explainio 3.0 comes in. It's built to make video creation easy and much much cheaper so you've got to start thinking to yourself you know if that sort of software is available why should I spend a small fortune getting videos made when you know you can kind of create them yourself easily right from your desktop and that's really what explained 3.0 is is uh, going to give you the opportunity to do okay so what you've got to ask yourself, and what I ask myself really, is how good is Explainio 3.0? How easy is it to create professional quality videos? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the software and show you exactly what you get when you sign up. Now, I would say at this point that I'm not a graphic designer or a professional video creator. So for me, for it to be effective and value for money, it has to provide good and, I suppose, to be honest, really comprehensive step-by-step -step training so that I can get started making a video quickly and the software itself has to be easy to use. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at it. Now, when you sign up and create your account, you'll get a download link uh, to download the software onto your computer and a license key so that you can register your new software. Now, I've already done that bit to save time, but once you've done that, you'll have a nice little desktop icon that you can see just up here to launch the software anytime you want and to make any new videos anytime you want and when you click on it this is what happens let me just open it up for you okay so there we go it's opening up and it verifies your license etc and once it's done that this is Explainio 3.0 this is the user interface so I'm going to kind of go through these a little bit at a time with you um, I don't want to go into too much detail really and it's really only down to time uh, because Explainio 3.0 does so, so much. So I'm going to kind of give you the basics and I'm going to create some slides for you so you can see exactly how to do it. Now, let's start with the top tabs along the top. So over here on the right hand side, uh, settings, language, images, video footage, um, deactivation support market and account these are kind of the the, the setup icons um, and you're not really going to be using these uh, a huge amount um, having said that if you ever do need to get into your account to look at the videos and to get all the other stuff that comes with explainio 3.0 you just literally click over here on your account button and I'm going to show you the uh, inside of our account shortly but the icons that you're going to be using the most are these ones over here on the left hand side so um, you're going to need to create a product, a project rather just here, and then from there you'll be able to save it, you can name it, and then you'll be able to preview it. This is the button you're going to be using an awful lot, to be honest. Um, you can add audio, and, and that's voiceover as well. So you can add music and uh, voiceover, or both actually, which is really cool. Um, so you're going to be using that quite a bit as well. And then once you've actually finished creating your video, you're going to click on this little create video icon, and it literally downloads your video onto your desktop as an MP4. And from there, you can do pretty much whatever you like with it. So um, that's kind of the top part. Now down here, this section here, this is your timeline. So when you create um, scenes, you'll be able to see them all on here. And you've also got along the top um, how much time each scene is taking. So, you know, you can start syncing sound and all that sort of stuff. So that's what this part along here is. And you'll see that in more detail as we go. Now, to actually get this thing up and running and for it to come live, what you've got to do is click create a project. So let's do that right now. So once you do that, you're going to enter a name. So let's just call it uh, for today. Let's just call it 
um, test video okay there we go and then we click on create and you can see how now all these icons up here light up so now they're available for us to use so the first thing that we're going to need to do is to create a scene so that's what you do you break your video down into various scenes as we go through it so to do that first thing you do is come over here on this little plus button up here is click plus and we're going to create a new scene there we go so now this is our canvas that we can be using here and this down here uh, these buttons along the bottom here these are the ones where you start adding all of the elements to your uh, this particular individual scene so let's start with adding some text so i'm just going to click on the button and it comes straight immediately onto your canvas right away so from there you can move it around and do much pretty much you know line out where you want it so let's just put it here for now um and so I mean, that that could be a headline it could be pretty much anything and then when you come over here on the right hand side i just highlight that um this is where you can change your text so i'm just going to put some uh let me spell it right some text goes here now that can be anything that you want and also from over here uh, you can change the text color so let's make it red for example so everything's live which i really like as well so you can see it as you're going along and you can change the font and its size and different styles and you can have some font effects on there as well so uh, for example here uh, if I wanted to have a I, I don't know a, a, let's say uh, let's have that one so see how it changes the effect of the text uh, again not particularly great for this example but uh, you get the idea you can have pretty much whatever you want on there okay and down here you can start moving things around and you can change the size of the text to have it full screen or full screen proportional so it'll spread right the way across the canvas and um, you can also add animation to the text as well so uh, for example if i wanted this text to sort of move around the screen uh, what i'm going to do is do this click here and then i'm going to move it to where i want it to go say just there then i can add another point and let's just move it over to there again guys this is just completely ad hoc i'm not i haven't prepared anything necessarily for this i just want to show you the basics of exactly how explainio works okay so that's then done all right now if you click down here and close the canvas it will actually show you what it does there you go that's what i've just done exactly that so that's a little bit bland but that's how you add text um, now you can do a, an awful lot with the text itself so i'll tell you what let's create another one let's just put another scene on here as well let's just put some uh add text there we go and okay so now i'm just going to put in here because what i want you to do is i want you to watch this because here now you can do an awful lot uh, in terms of animating the text so what you do is once you've got your text in place if you come over here to the left just the top and click on uh, this little arrow over here you can now add a new effect now over here we've got all of the effects that you can add to this particular bit of text so you've got nothing before or after sketch so you can have your hat the hand come on and, and write it on the screen you can fade in and out fly in and out uh, you can uncover it erase it after it's been put on the screen you can morph it now I'm not going to show you that because what I've done is I've actually created a video for one of our websites uh, mensworldhq.com that's got morphing on it and you'll see what I mean uh, once it does it's really good great effect and then we've got animation presets now look at all of those uh, so you can an absolute ton of effects that you can have on your uh, text so uh, let's say we can have it sliding from the right skew from the left long so let's just click that one and see what happens see this little timer here so the more you ex extend that time the longer it actually takes for that text to do the animation that you've selected so let's just have a look at that so if you close that there you go that's what it does look at that how nice is that and it's so simple to do literally just a couple of clicks and then from there when you come over here on the right hand side uh, sorry left hand side you can add even more effects to it as well as you're going along and make it you know really really special now it does a load of other things as well uh, this is what i really like about explainio 3.0 is video stuff you can add videos into your uh, videos as well which is really good so uh, i've actually already prepared one which i'm, I'm going to put in on uh, top of this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add to this canvas or this scene rather than, rather than adding a load of scenes as we go so what i'm going to do 
is I'm going to click Open Canvas. And this time what I'm going to do is click here and click Add Video. So I'm going to add it from local storage. Now over here, if you've got um, some footage that you've you've purchased as an OTO with Explainio, uh, they'll all be in there. They're all high definition and really, really good. So you can make some cracking videos uh, with a video background as well. But uh, for now, what I'm going to do is click one from uh, my local storage. So I'm going to click here. And here we go, it opens up this one now. I've put them on the desktop. So that's the promo video I'm going to show you shortly. But this is uh, a video that we can have in on the background. So let me just open that. And it, it prepares it and adds it into the screen. Now, whilst I'm doing this video, I actually downloaded from YouTube. It's a Creative Commons video. And um, you can use it perfectly legally. So if you don't have any background videos, uh, YouTube is a great place to go. You can get a Creative Commons video. Now, as you can see, it's kind of already there, and it looks like it's kind of drawing it. Now, you can have it start to draw and then uh, morph into the video itself, or you can have the video um, sort of come live immediately without drawing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Don't Sketch, so it doesn't do that, and then I'm going to click Add. And there it is. There's my video. Now, what I want to do is I want to make it full screen. Now, if you look along the timeline up here, as you can see, this video is what? What's that? 20 seconds long. So within that 20 seconds, which is a long here, um, I can add in a load of other things as well as I, as I go through it. Um, and I'll, I'll show you those in a moment. So what I want to do is I want to kind of make this full screen, otherwise, or rather to cover the canvas. Otherwise, it's just going to look just kind of small in the middle. So I'm just going to drag it out a little bit just to cover the whole screen. Uh, there we go. Actually, that's that's not bad. They're quite like that. But you can move it up and down and do whatever you want to do. But that looks good to me. You get all these clouds in there. Okay, so now if I click on Close Canvas, there you go. Can you see that? Look at that. So now we've got that text coming in over on top of a video background. How cool is that? That is really good. And that hasn't cost me a penny. That's, you know, literally I just got that video from YouTube. So that's absolutely fantastic. So you can add text, you can get all sorts of things running in the background uh, and have images and all that sort of stuff added to it as well. Because one of the other things that you can add is our GIFs, you know, those little animated um, images. So let's do that. So I'm going to add one to this canvas as well. So I'm going to open it up down here on the right hand side and what I'm going to do now is add an animated GIF. Now um, I've already got one done already but what you can do let's just add this one in. Click open. There we go. Okay and now as you can see again actually let's leave that this time so it, it draws it first and then morphs into uh, the whole GIF as you can see when we add this in. Once it's on the screen um, you can position it wherever you want so let's just put it there for now. Again you know, this is just literally as an example just to show you the the powerful features that explain the 3.0 has for you. It's really good. So that's there. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, um, I actually got this gift from Giphy.com and I literally just downloaded it and uh, as you saw, I put it on my desktop and added it in and then it's done. So now if I could close Canvas, uh, we've got watch this and now you've got the hand to draw it in. But do you notice that the gift doesn't appear? So uh, that's not unusual. That's really simple to fix. So you come over here on the right hand side. Oh, oh God, left and right's mixed up. The left hand side. What I want to do is I want to drag it above the video. And there it goes. It appears. And then the GIF is in the video as well. How cool is that? I mean, that is really good. So you can add all sorts of stuff in here. So let's carry on. Let's add something else in here as well. Let's add a sketch image. Now, there's a load of sketch images already in the back end of Explainio 3 Pound, already ready for you to use. So uh, let's just add, um, I don't know, let's just add this guy here, for example. So there he is. And again, as you can see, um, if you come over here on the timeline, he's, um, so what, no. Now, when you can't see everything, what you do is come up here and now I can make the timeline bigger. So now I can see everything, which is great. The other thing that you can do is move the, the video out the way. OK, um, so I want to move him there. And let's just make him a little bit smaller like that. And so it's almost as if he's saying, watch this, which is great. Uh, and then I'm going to pull the video back over like that. Give it back again. Let's just move it. Touch. There we go. That'll do. And click close canvas. And there it is. Now, as you can see, we've kind of got the guy there and we've got the hands there as well. So what if you don't want the hands? That's really good. And, that, and you know, because, you know, it's great for text, perhaps not so much for images. So um, all you want to do is get rid of the hands. So let me just pause that for a moment. Just stop that there. So here you can play it, pause it or stop it immediately. And you do everything from over here on the left hand side. So I kind of want to get rid of the hands on. 
um, the GIF and on this little guy here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little downward arrow. See, it's a sketch by hand. Click the cross and it's gone. So it doesn't actually get drawn by hand. And the same then for this guy as well. So we're going to come here, click that off. And now let's just open canvas again. Okay, that looks good. Let's leave that as it is. Okay, now what you want to try and do is well is, is if it doesn't look like it's working correctly, all you do quite literally is click the preview button over here and it will play the whole thing for you, the whole video that you've created. Now what I do want to do though is see how we got, remember earlier on I mentioned we've got these 20, 25 seconds here to play with. If you keep it all at this end, everything will happen all at once. So what I want to do is I want to drag this to the end there so it comes in after the text so that's then the gif and then this is the little guy here so now watch this when I click preview some text goes here that's the first one that we did then we go watch this then we get the animated gif come in and then this guy comes in there as well now obviously you can spend a little bit more time getting these guys to come in and then take longer to appear on the screen or you can get them to do other sort of animation but can you see we've got a nice video background we've got some text on there we've got a, an animated gif on there and we've got some uh, a sketch on there as well so there's tons and tons that you can actually do from it and everything is controlled let me just close that everything is controlled from over here so you can add loads and loads of, of animations in there as well it's absolutely fantastic now as I mentioned to you before um, if you perhaps didn't find a, a sketch image in the library that you that's in the back end of Explainio that you wanted to use, uh, simply all you would do is you would, if you've got one on the, your desktop or you found one that you like, you need to convert it into an SVG file. So if you download it as a PNG or a JPG, a JPEG file, it needs to be converted into an SVG for, for you to be able to upload it into the back end. And as a, you know, use Convertio.net or Inkscape.net.com, I think it is, if you want to keep the color if there is any color on that image so that's the easiest thing to do now the last thing I want to show you as well um, is music and you can add music and of course voiceover uh, onto the background of your videos so all you do is come up to the top and click audio and from here you've got some audio tracks already embedded and you can record your voice as well so you can just, just check these boxes here so we've got video uh, voice rather now if I wanted to record a voiceover straight on top of the video, all I'm going to do is click the mic. It gives you this, and you can see it's testing everything just to make sure that you can um, hear uh, that it's, uh, you know, it's equal on both sides. And then when you're ready to record, you just click on the mic again, and it starts recording over the top, and it just adds it into your video as well. You can control the volume here. So if, you know, if, if sound is really loud, you can make higher or lower or something like that, which is really great, great feature. Um, so you've got your voiceover, but you can also add music as well. So let's say we want to add uh, any one of these. Uh, let's just click on this one, for example, uh, and it starts to play in the background. Uh, and again, you can control the, the volume right here. So let me just turn that down a little bit. Let's just pause that. OK, so we can add music and we can add voiceover. So if you wanted both, that's great. So if you look a little bit further down here on the screen, you've got play with voiceover. And then you'll need to click on there, play with music as well. And then what will happen is if your voice is louder than the music, which is what you want, you'll have background music and your voice playing. So it's, it's really cool. It's really fantastic for that. OK, so you can play with that at your leisure. You know, there's so much that you can do with it. It's absolutely fantastic. So there we go there. That's that's what we've created. And it's really, really simple to do, guys. And there's just so much to it as well. Now, what I do want to do is I want to show you the video that I created. And this took me about an hour. Uh, and actually, it, it, that hour was including the uh, going through the training videos as well. So it didn't actually take me very long to create this video. Let me just show you the one that I created. So let me stop that for the moment. Uh, I'm going to minimize that screen so we can see it still. But here it is. So this is what I created using Explainio 3.0 in about an hour. This is it.
there you go. What do you think of that? I mean, literally, that sort of 35 second video, it took me about an hour to do, and I was learning how to use the software whilst I was creating it. It's so easy to use, and that's what I really like about it. Now, okay, now I promised to show you the uh, our account, so let me do that immediately. Um, so let me just open this screen here. Okay, so this is, I've already logged in again just to save us a bit of time here, but this is the back end. So as you can see, we've got pretty much everything because this is so good. Um, now the training, we're actually on the training page. You can get to it from here and you click on the uh, basic training and it takes you to this page here. Now it gives you a really good comprehensive training and I was going through these videos uh, whilst I was creating the video that you've just seen. So we've got dashboard overview, adding new scenes, uh, animation slides. That's something I haven't shown you actually. Um, but that's really good. There's some animated slides already built into the background. I'm going to jump back in in a moment and show you that again because it's really good. Um, adding videos and adding GIFs, uh, adding images, sketch images, uh, some of which you've seen, adding text. We've kind of been through that. You can change the background as well. So if you've got just like a, a bog standard white background uh, that you can see on, on that first slide, you can change it so you can get some, a paper background so you can add some texture to it. Again, it adds a really nice feature. Uh, makes your videos look a little bit better so that's good you've got that as well you editing the scene inside so you can have uh, background uh, videos and then stuff over the top we, we've already seen that so you can do that as well um, and th th these are the sort of examples of the hands that you can have in the background you can have them uh, drawing from what looks like the back um, so if you've got a, a video background and you want to add a, an image on the top it, it's a really cool effect to have the hand sketching from the back it's really good so it shows you how to do that there um, after action and before action editing, uh, previewing of videos, kind of been through that. How to add sound, we've been through that as well. And uh, with the upsells for Expandio 3.0, you can get a load of high definition video backgrounds. Uh, you can get a load of sketch, uh, SVG sketches already done as well. Uh, and there's tons and tons of them. So you're never going to be short of any stuff to put on your videos at all. It's, it's really great for it. So you can get all of those and you can upload them immediately into the software um, from here. And this video shows you how to do that. Um, how to export your video. I'll jump through that very quickly in a moment. But again, it's very simple. Um, and then duplicating and arranging and all that sort of stuff. But you can see uh, the, the, the training itself is really comprehensive. It goes through absolutely everything. So you're kind of never sure uh, or, or never really know how not to do anything. It's really good for it. Okay, so that's the training uh, area in the background so let's just jump back to the software itself okay let's go full screen again all right so let's say that you've played around with the video and you're happy with it and you've got it done you want to get it exported so all you do is come over here click create video and then um, you just download it you start the export just by clicking here you can add watermarks in there as well see what i mean there's so much that you can do with it it's really good uh, and then you just click on start export and away you go and it's done and 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 now you've got an mp4 video that is unique that is specific to your offers and, and oh here's something another little tip if they, you know if you're not sure about you know how to create a video or what to include on it if you've seen some sales pages that have got videos on them just break that video down you know think about what were the scenes in the videos were the animations were they slides were they text whatever they were and you can break them down storyboard it and create a, a video that's similar for yourself using your own products and your own affiliate links or whatever it is that you're promoting it's a great way of doing it. it's a bit of a shortcut but do that ethically you know don't just copy somebody's video because you like it you can create a version of it and that means that you haven't kind of go, got to go through the whole uh, sort of creative process that's already done for you so that you know that's another great thing that you can do and that's really about it you know explain the 3.0 is really simple to use but let me just give you a word of warning here Okay, Explaindio is extremely addictive. All right, you can spend hours and hours doing it, and it's so fun and it's so simple to do. You can make some spectacular videos um, just by spending a little bit of time on it. But as I said, it's really, really addictive. So, you know, it, it's really good. It's going to save us an absolute ton of money, and I'm going to have so much fun creating videos for ourselves. So, as you can see, creating videos with Explaindio 3.0 is actually really easy. The training videos are really good and you know it's going to save us money and it's going to save us a ton of time and actually it's going to make us more money as well because you know a good explainer video as I said is going to create you know much more uh, get a load more subscribers on the list and it's going to make us more sales so yeah absolutely because you know when you think about it when you look at new products that come out the one thing they all have in common is a good explainer video and product creators know that and they know that a good explainer video it builds rapport it builds trust and 
and authority instantly. And that's really the real benefit of a video. So, and because they know that, they've all got one on their sales page because it makes them more money. It's as simple as that. And I suppose with explain video as well, you, you, know, you don't have to have a product of your own to make money. You know, with a good explainer video, you can be promoting squeeze pages, uh, lead profit systems pages, CPA offers blogs, Insta affiliate websites. In fact, any pages that you want to visit to take an action on, like fill in a form or click on a click through button to get more information, something like that, because good video, you know, makes them take action. And that's really what you want. So, you know, with a video on your page, you're going to convert more visitors into subscribers. You're going to make more sales than you would if you just had a, a bland sales page full of text copy. So, you know, you, you've got to have a video and Explainedio is really good and it works really, really well. So does Explainedio 3.0 do what it says it does? Yeah, absolutely it does. It's really easy to use and it's going to save you a lot of money. So absolutely we can recommend it. We are going to be using it ourselves in all of our videos from now on. So to get your copy of Explainedio 3.0 software, the button to buy is just below this video. And we're going to give you all the bonuses below as well that we've put together to actually complement the software to make it even better and more useful for you as well. So click the button below and save yourself a load of money and make videos yourself and promote your own products yourself with some really cool Explainedio explainer videos. Thanks, guys.